Good morning, it is filled to the brim and it is Tuesday, December 6th and we're in Advent season. And this week, we're gonna focus in on Jesus, our Prince of Peace. You know, scripture says, Emmanuel, God is with us and that Jesus is our Prince of Peace. And it's a beautiful scripture to know that not only do we have peace or we can have peace, but he is our Prince of Peace. Let me read to you the scripture in Isaiah. Isaiah 9, 6 and 7. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Scripture says that this babe that is born to us, the Messiah that comes, will be the Prince of Peace. And I want to talk about peace, the Prince of Peace in our lives today in 2022, because the truth is this, many times believers, and I'm speaking to believers, because we have the Prince of Peace dwelling within us, and yet many of us lack peace. We lack peace, and the question has to be asked, why is it that we lack peace when the Prince of Peace dwells in us because we know that scripture also says later that peace is not a feeling but peace is a person. Ephesians 2 14 says this, for he himself is our peace, for Jesus is our peace, who has made the two groups one and has destroyed the barrier, the dividing wall of hostility. He has destroyed the barrier the dividing wall of hostility. He is our peace. And yet, believers, and I'm talking to believers, because unbelievers don't have the Holy Spirit dwelling in them yet. They do not have the Prince of Peace within them. But those of us who have received Christ, have believed on His name, we have the Prince of Peace dwelling in us. And yet, so many times, we as his children lack the peace of God, his peace. As I was praying this morning, the Lord said to me, because I, I believe that peace has many components. It's not just one thing, but Christ infiltrates every area of our life, mind, body, soul, spirit, relationships, marriage, family, community, our community, even outside of the community of faith, that we are people of peace. And yet, the question comes, why is it that sometimes, and I can even say many times, believers are not stirring up peace, but stirring up hostility. When scripture says that Jesus himself has destroyed the dividing wall of hostility. See, when we are functioning that way. We're not functioning full of the Holy Spirit because we are functioning in contrast to the Word of God. This is what the Lord was speaking to me today. God is looking for Spirit-filled believers to be used for His purposes. Let's say that again. God is looking for Spirit-filled believers to be used for His purposes. The enemy is looking for flesh-filled believers to be used for his purposes. I'm going to go and say that again because a lot of times we're pointing to other things or other people or making reasons, excuses for why we are functioning in a hostile way. Like I said, as Ephesians 2.14 says, that Jesus himself destroyed hostility. And yet, believers functioning in that way 
show, reveal that they are not functioning in the fullness of the Holy Spirit because the Prince of Peace dwells within us. He dwells within us. Many times I have found as a pastor and even as just simply a person, a believer myself, that in our evaluation of ourselves, we kind of uh, gloss over things in our lives, the way that we are acting or talking or thinking. We gloss over those things and highlight maybe some of the areas that we might be doing pretty well. When the Holy Spirit is at work and saying, listen, there are areas in your life, rather than you blaming other people, rather than you harboring this conflict, harboring this anger, harboring unresolved conflict, I want you to have the Prince of Peace infiltrate your life. See, it's all about the fruit of our life. The fruit of our life. Many times in our own evaluation, we're justifying things in our lives, behaviors, words, the type of relationship or reaction we have to other people. We're justifying those things rather than allowing the fruit of our lives to be judged, not by others, but by the Holy Spirit. By the Holy Spirit saying, look at the fruit of your life. Because the fruit of your life is going to reveal what is going on within you. If you are responding to the Holy Spirit within you to be the Prince of Peace that Jesus is, the Holy Spirit is the one that is breathing upon your life to transform you because Jesus dwells within you and He is the Prince of Peace. So the fruit of our lives needs to be judged. Are we people that are functioning in the fullness of the Spirit and one of the outcomes of that is the Prince of Peace taking over every area of our life? Our words, what kind of words are we speaking? I find that our words really reveal what's going on. A lot of times we think that we're editing things and that we're able to manage what other people think of us by trying to say the same thing. But eventually, our words will reveal what's going on inside of us. What about your relationships? Do you have peaceful relationships? That doesn't mean that there's an absence of conflict, but there's resolved conflict. Conflict happens because of diversity, differences of thinking, but what needs to happen is not so much that we reject conflict, but that we resolve conflict because conflict is a part of people getting to know one another. How other people think, those types of things, so that we can honor one another's differences. So what about your relationships? You know, the time, this time of the year, it feels like it stirs a lot of things. And many times it stirs the conflict, the unresolved conflict in relationships. You are a person who has the Prince of Peace dwelling in you. He's dwelling in you. Many times, and even believers think this way, well, they did something wrong against me way back when, or it could be last week, it doesn't matter. They did something wrong against me. Therefore, I have the right to not have peace in this relationship. But that's not the way Scripture speaks. We are peacemakers. Blessed are those who make peace, Jesus said. Because the Prince of Peace dwells in us. And you know what it takes in order to have peace in relationships? It takes a humble spirit. It takes a forgiving spirit both ways. But you know what? You can't help if somebody doesn't forgive you. But you surely can help if you are forgiving others. And if you are also asking for forgiveness in humility and in authenticity. You know, I'm challenging us. To truly have the one who is our peace to infiltrate our lives 
in a very practical way in our relationships, in our words, in our actions, in our priorities, in our obedience to his word. Let us not think ourselves wise in our own minds, but rather submit to his word because he says, you know what? I am your peace. I am the Prince of Peace. And as scripture says, he himself is our peace, Ephesians 2.14, who has made the two groups one and has destroyed the barrier, the dividing wall of hostility. Let me end with this. Paul writes that to the church in Ephesians. It's a Gentile church. And he's talking about the Jew and the Gentile, which had extreme differences and which had extreme hostility towards one another. And he says to them, Jesus has brought you two, Jews and Gentiles, into unity because he is our peace. So now you are going to live in the spirit. You are going to live as people of unity. You're going to live as people of true and lasting peace. He came as the Prince of Peace. And let us look at the fruit of our lives and then go back and say, am I walking in the Spirit? Just like the word that the Lord gave to me, God is looking for Spirit-filled believers to be used by Him for His purposes. But He also told me, and the enemy is looking for flesh-filled believers to be used by Him for His purposes. When we dwell in His peace in the areas of our life, we will bring Jesus to our relationships, in our words, wherever we go. God bless you. Pray about this word.